welcome back to If Only April and today's project is gonna be very very exciting and it's on more on the artistic side. Today we're gonna be painting vases and also we're gonna make this beautiful beautiful bohemian inspired chain you know like <clears throat> can you call it a chain? Anyways it's like a moon phases you know like sun moon phases and I think it looks absolutely adorable. So I needed to decorate my mantel uh, for the fall and uh, I thought that I'm gonna make it like in the bohemian style. Maybe like in a couple of weeks I'm gonna redo it and make and add more of the fall decor but for now I absolutely love it. I enjoy looking at this and uh, look at this terracotta vases. It's just Oh my god, when I'm gonna show you what is underneath, you're gonna be in shock for sure. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit that notification bell button to be notified when I'm posting new videos. Let's get to it! Tin, 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 tin. So first you need to choose a vase. The best place to find the jars for this transformation would be probably Goodwill or some sort of thrift store where for a couple of dollars you can find something really really amazing shaped vases. So you have to uh, look at the shape and not on the color because you can literally transform any ugly vase with this craft. So, but I have to add that uh, I found that clear glass jars work the best and um, in the case of the color bases, because you would need to add some extra paint so it doesn't show through. And with the clear glasses or with white glasses for this case, you don't have to worry about this problem. So when you go to the street store, look for the clear glass jars. They work the best. Or go straight to the dollar store and stick up on their different kind of bases there. I actually got this one from a dollar store and I think it looks amazing. So about the color, so for the first phase I used the cream de caramel color from Bear and it was just a sample that I picked up at the Home, Home Depot and then I decided to mix it up with another color so I added a little bit of the Kalahari Sunset color into the mix and it created such a beautiful shade that it's so gorgeous. Oh my god, I cannot keep my eyes off it. I was so obsessed with this that I literally started walking around the house and looking for more objects that I can paint. And then my eyes laid on the sparkling bottles, like San Pellegrino sparkling bottles. It's not sponsored, obviously, but uh, yeah, I mean, they have such an awesome shape. They're so perfect for, for the job. So let's talk about the texture. So if you're like me and you like a lot of texture, then you need to add a lot of baking soda to the paint. I started with a little bit and then I started adding more and more and more soda till it became such a chunky paste that creates this amazing effect of uh, ceramics. So yeah, so I would say that you know, like my favorite proportion, it was like one to one of paint and soda, or maybe like two to one of paint to soda. Uh, anyways, just like check it out and look for yourself what works best for you. I also found the jug from the Tita's vodka, the one that has the handle. It just struck me, oh my god, it would make a beautiful, beautiful clay jug. So yeah, that's what I did. I painted it too. And let me tell you, I was not disappointed. <laughs> and I think it's just so amazing it has such a great shape and it would be perfect for this craft and I was not disappointed at all so for this vodka jog I used the Kalahari sunset with a fresh croissant color and I think it added some sort of like a clay color-ish to it and it looks it really does look like clay don't you think so so you need to come up create this paste you see so it looks like a paste it's kind of thick and make sure that you crush all the chunks of chunks of baking soda because otherwise it's gonna just be as a chunk and I don't like that look but if you like then just go for it So after we finish with our painting all these bottles, these absolutely gorgeous colors, I wanted to try to put some sort of designs on it. So I'm just gonna do it now and uh, 
we'll take it from there. So yeah, I was trying to add some of the gold color to it, and like some sort of like gold stripes, and it did not work out as planned. So pretty soon I abandoned this idea and said that those vases, they just fine as it is. By the way, I never tried it with the wine bottles. I think wine bottles would look pretty gorgeous too. Hmm, something to think about. If you want to read the written version of this of this video, you can find it on my blog www.aponwayapril.com. I can leave you the link below. The next project is so amazing, also so amazing, and uh, it is this Bohemian-inspired chain. Let's get started. You need to take out the clay and uh, with wet hands, you know, like make some sort of bowl out of it and roll it out. You can use the roller paint and I used my cat's roller paint that she painted in some weird, weird colors. <laughs> then you need to take a circle, uh, some sort of like a cookie cutter or maybe any other surf, like round shape, round shaped object and make a circle and then you're gonna make a half moon out of it. Then you just smooth out the edges uh, using some water because so we don't have to do it later and uh, using the small cutters I had this special cutter kit that I'm gonna link to below in the description you're gonna make like a small tiny holes that that's where we're gonna put the chain later so work your way through, I made three circles and three, and six half moons and then when they were ready I let it dry for 24 hours at least, I think I actually let it dry for a bit longer but it doesn't matter. So when it dries we're gonna get going. You can always use water to reshape your clay, by the way. So I picked up this small golden chain from Michael's. I think it was like $2 on sale. And uh, what I did using the jewelry pliers, I detached, detached it to smaller pieces. Then I took the golden rings that I had, they, I think they're five millimeters in diameter because, yeah, I have them because I was trying to make those uh, clay earrings. I never got my hands on it. Anyways, I attached the rings to the clay circles and to the half moons and uh, that's how you're gonna get yourself this amazing bohemian wall hanging. You need to be super careful and very gent gentle with the, with the clay because it might break, I assume. My circles and half moons, they're a bit on the th thinner side, so they're probably one eighth of, the, of an inch. But uh, if you want to make it more, more stable, then you should probably roll out the clay a bit thicker. How gorgeous it is. So then you're gonna walk your way through all of them and uh, attach all of them. And uh, again, if you wanna make it a bit shorter, then you can totally go for it and you can customize it as much as you want.
Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope that this inspired to make you something similar. The whole process of painting the vases is so therapeutic. And uh, yeah, I gotta say that I was so obsessed with it that I just wanna paint everything with this chalk paint, you know, like, that looks like ceramic. If you wanna see how I made this abstract paintings that you also can see on this mantel, stay tuned and I'm gonna post this video next week. Thanks so much for watching, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you next week. Bye! So I saw like some of those hangings, uh, wow, and create this beautiful ceramic looking like clay-ish decor. I mean, isn't it exciting? I absolutely love how they turned out.